July 5th. Hope you had a good Independence Day yesterday. So this video, what is the point of, what is the limit of a tuning box? Well, because a tuning box doesn't alter the, the software inside the factory ECU, the limit of the tuning box is always going to be the factory software. So what does that mean? Well, in a diesel, in the case of turbo diesel tuning, we're adding more fuel at, at a minimum. And then depending on the car, we might also uh, manipulate the uh, map sensor. So for cars which have a uh, which have a fuel rail only, i.e. cars where we only manipulate the fuel pressure sensor, <laughs> the limit is going to be the table for fuel pressure, basically. Um, the tuning work box works on the turbo diesel cars by giving the ECU the impression that the car is actually operating at less fuel pressure than reality which causes the ECU to compensate by increasing fuel pressure which increases the amount of fuel going into the engine which gives us more power but there is a limit to how much an ECU will compensate well not for every ECU but for some ECUs there's a limit to how far uh, the ECU thinks it's reasonable to have to compensate for so if it believes if it's seen um, uh, X amount of fuel pressure and X RPM for the past week and then all of a sudden it's completely different to what it's been having to put in the car it may throw a check engine light Modern turbo diesel cars usually operate with a MAF sensor now also. So if the, the, the quantity of fuel that the, that the ECU thinks is going into the engine doesn't come in what it thinks is a reasonable range for airflow, that will also trigger a check. And then as the engines get more advanced, it could be down to exhaust gas temperatures, um, boost pressures in some cars, and some cars we also have to uh, manipulate the boost sensor. Okay, so we can lie to the ECU and say that the fuel pressure is X percent less than what it should be. But then the, the ECU is also getting a map sensor and saying, hold on, if I'm putting this much fuel into the engine, then we should be making this boost. And if we're not, something's wrong, which will trigger a check. So we're always uh, fighting, if you like, the factory ECU. We're always we're looking for the limits that have been built into the factory ECU. We're looking to find the limits of what the ECU thinks is reasonable and then work inside them. But as I said at the start, fundamentally the limit of a tuning box is the factory, is the factory ECU, the factory software, the factory program. And it's not going to be um, the tuning box. Unless the tuning box does not have a good program with it, for example, it ramps up fuel pressure too quickly, it alters it in the wrong place. Um, basically those two, it does it changes it too quickly, it does it in the wrong place. <coughs> so as we get more experience, we can know where we can, which parts of the um, fuel rail pressure curve, we can increase the, um, the fuel pressure without triggering a check engine line. So that's the limit of a tuning box for a uh, modern turbo diesel petrol engine. I thought I'd keep it short. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Please vote on the video. And I'll see you again next time.